Bionics was founded four years ago when the two scientific founders from the Weizmann Institute looked at all the activity in the microbiome and saw a lot of company formation and hundreds of millions of dollars invested. And mostly it was in probiotics. But they actually understood that there are cases where there are specific bacteria which are bad for you. And there was a need to take out specifically that bacteria. Now, the standard tool to do that is actually antibiotics. The problem with antibiotics is twofold. First, and we hear a lot in the news, there's a lot of antibiotic resistance. So some bacteria might be in our gut causing a low-grade inflammation, uh, and you just can't get rid of them. Problem number two is antibiotics actually kill a lot of the good bugs. So it's basically taking antibiotics, taking a nuclear bomb to your gut microbiome uh, and killing all of the bacteria out there. Now, the problem is we realize some of these bugs are actually essential. So we now know in cancer, for example, the new wave, um, which is very exciting, the new immunotherapies. If patients take antibiotics before taking immunotherapy, they usually don't respond well to the treatment. The reason is that we kill some of the good bugs, which are helping to modulate our immune system. So we actually need a precise tool that would both take out a specific bacteria as well as overcome antibiotic resistance. And that's where phage comes in. So phage is a naturally occurring virus that only infects bacteria and specific bacteria and is completely safe to humans. So that was the base of the company and we found exciting targets to pursue and quickly understood that sometimes we want to engineer the phage and not only use uh, naturally occurring phage and that's where we teamed up with Tim Blue from MIT and that's how the company got going. So our first indication is actually treating acne. We're extremely excited because earlier this year, we actually announced positive phase one data. So we have a product which has three phage that kills a specific bacteria associated with acne called C-acne. And what we've seen is after four weeks of treatment, a substantial reduction of the bacterial count. And again, this is extremely exciting because we translated all the work that we did in the lab and the computational capabilities and all the analysis and manufacturing and that all came together to a product that has shown activity. This is exciting because this product is actually aimed at the cosmetic uh, market. So we actually have a collaboration with one of the big five international cosmetic companies. And we're going to launch a second longer study at the beginning of 2021 and have a readout in the middle of the year. So the market for cosmetics and acne is a $4 billion opportunity. So having a first step is exciting and we're hoping to get a great readout in the middle of 2021. Our next product on the market is actually for IBD. Um, and this is under a regular drug path. This is based on work coming from one of the best labs in the world, Professor Kenny Honda's lab in Japan, and basically isolated specific bacteria from chronic colitis patients that seem to be extremely uh, pro-inflammatory, meaning that it induces inflammation in the gut, which is a human disease. We now know that patients have a lot more of the bacteria compared to healthy volunteers. And that got us very excited because of all of the patient's microbiome, it seemed like a single bacteria was driving this high inflammation. Now, this is kind of the nail that the hammer that we're holding, we're looking for. Phage is exactly designed to go after a specific bacteria. And that's the product. So we've now constructed a cocktail of phage that specifically covers this type of bacteria. We've completed manufacturing in-house. We've already met with the FDA. And again, being a phage product and having such a well-known safety profile means that we don't need to do any animal safety studies. We don't need to do healthy volunteers. We can gear up to clinical studies in the clinic. We'll have a first in human study at the end of this year. In 2021, we are geared up to do a proof of principle study, meaning we want to take healthy volunteers and patients treatment with the phage therapy, try to see whether we can reduce the levels of bacteria, meaning that the mechanism works, basically what we've already achieved in acne. And then we can also enrich that study with a few patients to get initial signals whether reducing the bacteria in patients is having the desired effect of reducing inflammation. Now, IBD is a very large uh, market potential. It's estimated to be about $17 billion in sales. And basically, this project was the reason that early on we had the likes of very large pharmaceutical companies such as Takeda and J&J invest in the company. So basically by the end of this last quarter, we had north of $75 million in the bank. That means that we're well financed for the next two years or more. And this is planning to give us insights into some substantial inflection points. So the acne data will come up in the middle of 2021. We're going to have the first in human in IBD end of this year. And then the proof of principle study at the end of 2021, as well as the cancer project, which has some exciting preclinical work, which should also take place in the middle of 2021.
So I think the reason I joined Biomics four years ago is because I was quite excited about the potential of the company. Phage has a long history of safety. Multiple patients have been treated around the world with Phage successfully. So it's not very common to be in a biotech company that you have a modality that is safe and works. And now you've got to try to find a different indication that's going to make the most impact. So I think we have here a potential of a broad platform that can be used in multiple indications addressing some of the biggest unmet needs that we have. And that's quite exciting and, and provides multiple opportunities and inflection points in, in the next few years.